We are yeah. back with some wild guests, Hello. our friends from the Potawatomi Zoo. It's always my favorite time. Josh Isk, Executive Director. We have Amanda, too. Who do we have here? Well, yeah, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Come on. This is porcupine. <laughs> I know. You can my face off. So this is actually a first. So we've always had Humvee. This is our big male yeah. uh, porcupine that comes out for Ambassador Animal Program. So they're North American porcupines. You can find these guys up in Michigan. But new to the zoo is this little girl here. Thank um, you, Josh. And she's not, she, so she is a baby. She is actually going to be the girlfriend of Humvee when she's <gasps> old enough um, so that we can have a breeding program for porcupines at the zoo. Got so you. this is actually the first time that they've been in proximity so and it, um, obviously how, food flirting, is flirting they have good chemistry I think, you think? so far I think they prefer food over each other <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, she's been making some adorable sounds or how old is she did you say she's what is she Amanda? five months she's five, five months. months yeah she's five months she's adorable okay. what's her name Chevelle. Chevelle 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 I should know that I'm <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we have Humvee and Chevelle there's kind of a theme there with cars I don't look this way, baby. I don't want to talk about it's a that's a big deal to have a breeding program <laughs> at the zoo and future babies we right? have had had so many babies this year. I don't know if you, you, you follow us. You're so I always see your likes and your hearts. We've had we've had kudu babies. babies. We've had peccary babies. Another sloth was born this year. Tamanda. I mean, we've probably had more babies born this year than ever. Um, but that's what it's all about. It's about sustainability of these yes. species. They're all managed programs in zoos. We don't buy or sell the animals. They're all part of the sustainability. So if we can have porcupines, <laughs> their offspring will go off to be in breeding programs yeah. and just educate people about porcupines. Can I can I try something here? I'm going to take my mic off and try and see. If See so if you can hear. Oh, it's like a. Yeah, let's listen to it. <laughs> it's okay. We're just here watching you eat. That's all. Did you hear that though? Yep. <laughs> that I hear it clear. That's the sweetest little thing. And Amanda, you t you spend a lot of time with Humvee, right? Talk a yes. little bit about what the type of animal, porcupine, what they do. So they are a member of the rodent family. So they're those nice big incisors that grow all the time. They will eat. Nice big what? Incisors. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> as he backs away. And they are going to be chewing on really hard food. So those teeth grow their whole lives. Gotcha. Wow. So they always have teeth, new teeth erupting, which is super awesome for them. They have about 30,000 quills that cover their body. And that's all the white tipped um, hairs on them. And they have little barbs that if you brush up against it, it gets stuck in your skin. It kind of works its way deeper. But they do not shoot them. That's a so myth. That's shoot. just for cartoons. Gotcha. So okay. You have to okay. touch the quill for, before it would get in your skin. Gotcha. Okay, and one cool. thing, have you noticed? So wait, one first thing I came in is like we did wear deodorant. But do you smell? <laughs> do you smell that? Oh, the smell. Is, they is, have a smell. smell about them that oh. we always make that clear when we come in. This gotcha. is a porcupine smell. So you will never have to worry about being in the woods and not knowing if there's a porcupine around you because you will smell. So them. it's like their yeah. actual body it's a, odor. Yeah, it's actually their odor. I um, hope y'all can okay. smell that in sales. This is adorable. So okay, like. When you're talking about people coming yeah, to the zoo and being able to see this, will they have an opportunity to get this close to them, or what's the, what's it like to interact? Yeah, so right now, uh, even though Humvee goes out to education programs, to schools and everything, he's actually on exhibit in the zoo farm. Gotcha. And then uh, she is actually on exhibit now as well over by the colobus monkey, so you can ah. see her as well. So uh, a lot of the ambassador animals are in the back, and you can get to see them, but these particular ones, because they're so good, in the they can be outside in the wintertime, yeah. so there's no point in having them inside, so we, uh, we bring them out. Take them out. So, yep. And you have a lot of things going on. Brew at the zoo tomorrow night. Yeah, so you've seen the weather, 78 degree. Uh, Ooh, it's going to be so we've, we've sold about 1,400 tickets, but we can still sell a couple hundred more. So if you go online, still general admissions available. Um, okay. And it's going to be a great event. We've got more vendors than we've ever had. About 42 vendors wow, are going to be there. So yeah, we're really, really excited. That's so. really cool. And then, of yeah. course, next month you have Zubu, right? Zubu, yeah. We're, we're, and then we roll right into Gift of Light. So we got Zubu at the end of October, which is going to be huge, and then Gift of Lights. And uh, this year we're bringing in reindeer. So we're really excited. It's going to be the first time the zoo's ever had reindeer. Okay. We, you know we're going to we'll need be to there, come yes. see the rain. <laughs> Can you give people perspective? Because we had a lot of questions from some new folks into the studio. Where is the zoo located conceptually in the city so people will be So aware? we are, if you go down Ironwood, we're mm -hmm. down right before you get to the river. We're okay. right down there uh, in Potawatomi Park. There you go. Potawatomi Zoo. So there right there in the heart of the Perfect. heart of the city. So. Oh, man, and people it. can come see Humvee. Sibella? Chevelle. Chevelle. Like the car. Chevelle. Ah, you, Chevelle. Way off. <laughs> you can be feeding the giraffes. You can see all the chain. We got the new lion exhibit, as you and guys know. Bear. You were there. The bears I at, at the zoo. The yeah, bear. you got to come see the bear. We need to um, do that next. But I'd rather so see that much. bear in Chicago. <laughs> Um, That's true. Josh Sisk That's and friends. So much going on. We Thank love you. you guys so much. Can you, you take us to break? Can you take us to break? Can you take us to break? Well, <laughs> Even I jumped. <laughs> we'll be Don't back. Don't touch her carrot. We'll be back. <laughs> Don't touch her carrot. <laughs>